What's up guys, Stay Gone, and we are back with another card of the day. And today we have our colorless card, Crystalline Giant. Three mana artifact creature giant. Three three. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from among flying, first strike, death touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, plus one plus one, and put that counter on Crystalline Giant. This card is I think it's pretty fun. It's definitely fun to play. <laughs> Whether it's good, I don't know. There's been times where this card has just completely taken over the game for me and like one of the most miserable matchups just because of like having first strike along with like death touch. There's also times where like this has completely carried the game for me because I'm playing against like a mirror deck and it doesn't have crystalline giant and I have like lifelink on this and like trample or menace. Um, it's pretty cool. And this is one of those cards that I was like looking at and thinking like, wow, this could be a Hearthstone card and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's a really cool card. Um, and in that sense, because it has so much randomness to it, attached to it, I'm not quite sure if it's good. It's a three mana three three with like first strike or like flying or any of those things, any of those keywords that doesn't have on it. Um, if you didn't attack yet or you play it on your first main phase, would you play that card? Would you play three mana three three first strike and a mono red deck? Maybe. Would you play a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three with lifelink in a mono-white deck? Maybe. I don't know. Would you play a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three with death touch, first strike, hexproof, and a mono-red deck? Probably, right? Like, this card has such a high ceiling to it, it's kind of bonkers. It does take time, though. And that's why I think it's really cool. Um, just for that sake, I do think it would be fun to play in like all formats but i don't think it's good in actually almost all formats i think it could be potentially good in a standard format but other than that i don't think it's even good in edh because it can't get indestructible um and maybe if you're playing like a battle cruiser format in edh or for a battle format um a battle cruiser meta in edh they could be good because like this thing can get hexproof and it can get all these keywords and all you need to do is like put some stuff on it, like put some weapons on it, and all of a sudden it's this huge creature that no one can deal with. <laughs> um, that's like, that's pretty good, right? In a battle cruiser format, but like in a CD format, you wouldn't want this because this doesn't do much. It doesn't draw your cards. That three mana is a high CMC, not doing much when you play it. Um, but in a, in a standard format, this quickly becomes a must kill target because this stops things like um, cat oven combo, uh, it stops control, I guess, because they have to take care of this, right? Um, and it stops, like, aggressive decks. If this gets, like, first strike, it stops aggressive decks. If it gets lifelink, it stops aggressive decks. If it's a 4-4, because everything in standard is usually about a shock level, right? Um, and if it has hexproof, they're not going to shock it anyways, right? So if you can keep it around, like, three turns, um, or two turns, it becomes pretty nutty against those decks, and that's where I think it shines. I would put it in probably an aggressive decks that don't have that aren't red, maybe even black, because those those decks seem to have everything they need to function. But like in a mono white deck, this has seemed to be really good in what was needed, especially decks that don't have a nice three drop slot and is aggressive. This I think fits right into there. Usually if you're playing in a mirror, you won't die by turn three. You could be wrong. I could be wrong, but like usually it's not the case. And this thing can rack up like two counters before it's like the crucial turn, the game deciding turn. And I think that's huge. Sometimes you do get unlucky and it's just 3 mana 3-3 three, three with like lifelink and um, fl or flying and reach, right? That kind of sucks. But most of the time it seems like that doesn't that doesn't happen. At most it can have 9 counters on it, including plus 1 plus 1 counter. Um, and at least it's like a 3 mana 3-3 three, three with nothing on it. This card is so variable. I don't know if it's good, but it's super fun to play with. And like making this into a big random creature with like mutate and stuff... Or like a Voltron strategy is super fun. It's just amazingly fun. I have a few games of playing of playing this on my my uh, channel. If you guys want to do check those out, check those out because they're super cool to look at. But um, yeah, this card is super good. I'm not sure it's super super uh, well, it's super fun. Not sure it's super good though. But uh, yeah, other than that, see you guys later and uh, tell me what you guys think about it in the comments section below. Peace out.